there's different devices out there, but let's say we're just doing the regular dental floss. You wrap it a few times around each of your middle fingers so that you then, <clears throat> and don't cut off the blood supply. I mean, you can make this thing so tight it's uncomfortable. That's not the point. It's just enough where you have your two fingers can now grab, just like that. So I can push between my teeth like this. I can push between my teeth with these. I can use my thumbs. I can use my fingers wherever I need to get to. But I have these four fingers free. So now I'm gonna start by flossing. Let's say I'm flossing the back tooth and I slide the floss back and forth until it slides through and then I'm going to, let's see if we can really zoom in on this one because I want our folks to see this. I'm gonna form a little C around the back tooth and kind of go up and down, up and down and then a C around this tooth, up and down, up and down and then I'm gonna bring that back out. Okay, so let's see now. I'm gonna be flossing the bottom back teeth. Now again, I have all four, I have my two forefingers and my thumb free, so I can decide what's gonna be the easiest way for me to get there. And I'm gonna slide back and forth until it drops through. I'm gonna clean it and then clean it. It's almost vibrational as I go a little bit up and down, up and down. It's not back and forth. You don't wanna be sawing back and forth because that'll hurt the gums. And you do this all the way around the teeth. Here's gonna be a good illustration of how it forms around the tooth. As I slide this through, it forms a C around the tooth. Let's see if we can see that. And I'm gonna clean up and down around that gum junction. And then I'm gonna get the other side here and clean up and down around that gum junction. And that's how we do each and every tooth and go back and forth. 